All right, I think uh, I think most everybody's here. I know we're waiting on a couple of a uh, couple of team leaders to get here, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. We got a lot of a lot of stuff to get through tonight. So I want to say uh, I want to say welcome to Wild River Opening. Remember, I'm I'm Pastor Ben. I'm doing the opening and closing, and then you guys are going to go and do a whole bunch of different activities with your group. Are you guys excited to be here tonight? Yeah. Uh, that was pretty good. Are you guys excited? There we go. All right, good, good, good. So we're going to begin tonight by hearing God's word as we learn how God keeps his promises on life's wild ride. So we're going to stand up and we're going to sing our opening song, Stand On Up. Stay, stay standing up with me for a minute. Stay standing up with me for a minute. You guys remember last night we, we talked about how we're gonna we're gonna begin with with our invocation. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make the sign of the cross on ourselves. So you guys, stand up with me. Stand up with me. We'll do it here in just a few minutes. Okay. All right. So we're gonna make our beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's ask God to bless our time together. If you'll fold your hands with me. And look at the screens. We're going to pray this prayer. It's the same one we prayed last night, okay? I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, you guys can, uh, you guys can sit for a second here. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go on to our take-home point, okay? So here, here at Splash Canyon, we celebrate our faithful God who keeps his promises, okay? Sometimes our lives might seem confusing and even a little scary. God says yes to us, though, and he's with us. Through Jesus, our Savior, and in baptism, our loving God gives us life now and forever. So we're going to say our take-home point, okay? It's, it's going to be, it's, it's a different take-home point today, but it's the same actions. So stand up with me. 
Okay? So I'm going to say, yes, God gives us life, and you guys are going to say back, God gives us life, yes, He does. Okay? Yes, God gives us life. Yes, God. All right, let's try it one more time. Remember, I'm going to say, yes, God gives us life. And then you guys say, God gives us life. Yes, he does. Okay? All right. Yes, God gives us life. God gives us life. Yes, he does. Let's do it one more time. Yes, God gives us life. God gives us life. Yes, he does. All right. When your site leaders say this take-home point, make sure you guys... Make sure you guys say it back to them, okay? And since we're already standing, our next song we're going to do tonight is Jump, Jump. The Jordan River has nothing on the overflowing love of our faithful God who keeps His promises and fills us with His grace. God kept His promise and sent Jesus to save us and give us life. So let's sing Jump, Jump. That was great. You guys did a really great job with that. You guys can sit down now, okay? All right, so we're going to hear our Bible story tonight, okay? It comes to us, it comes to us from the book of Joshua tonight, okay? This is, uh, this is the first part of the story where God tells Joshua how God will make a way through the Jordan River so his people can start their new life in a new land. So I'm going to read to you from Joshua chapter 3, verses 7 through 17. It says, The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And as for you, command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant, when you come to the brink of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. And Joshua said to the people of Israel, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Here is how you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Jebusites. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is passing over before you into the Jordan. Now therefore take twelve men from the tribes of Israel, from each tribe a man. And when the soles of the feet of the priests bearing the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off from flowing, and the waters coming down from above shall stand in one heap. So when the people set out from their tents to pass over the Jordan with the priests bearing the ark of the covenant before the people, and as soon as those bearing the ark had come as far as the Jordan, and the feet of the priests bearing the ark were dipped in the brink of the water, the waters coming down from above stood and rose up in a heap very far away at Adam, the city that is beside Zarethan. And those flowing down toward the Sea of Arabah, the Salt Sea, were completely cut off, and the people passed over opposite Jericho. Now the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood firmly on dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all Israel was passing over on dry ground until all the nation finished passing over the Jordan. 
So that's our Bible story for tonight, okay? So you're going to hear more about how God kept his promise at the River Run Storytelling when you get to that, when you get to that session tonight, okay? So now we're going to check in with the guys over at Truth Up to discover truth in God's Word and what their challenge is today. So let's take a look at the video, okay? So finally, after 40 years, God's people are right at the edge of the land that God promised them. But what about that flooded river? I'm looking forward to learning how God kept his promise. So let's say our take-home point. Yes, God gives us life. God gives us life. Yes, he does. All right. Um, so we're at that point where we're going to uh, we're going to collect the offerings that you brought in, the little coins that you brought in, okay? So we've got, uh, oh, what I was going to tell you, I counted it today. We'll just keep our daily tally here. I counted it and I wrote it down. So right now, the boys have 85 cents. Oh. And the girls have $2.96. So, all right. So here we go. So we've got our, we've got our little tubs here. So we're going to have girls over here on this side. And we're going to have boys over here on this side, okay? So if you brought something in, make sure you get it in the right, in the right jar there, okay? There you go. Make sure you get it all in and get it in the right spot. And remember, all of this money that you guys are that you guys are bringing in, you're bringing it to show God's love to Reverend Meissner and his family down in Belize, and that's really awesome. I'm really proud of you guys. I think uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be close tomorrow. I'll count it. Uh, I'll count it tomorrow, and I'll let you know who's who's ahead. Um, but I think you guys are doing a really great job. Okay, did everybody everybody get theirs up here? You have a question? If we overfill one bucket, I will make sure we have another one. Don't you worry about that one little bit. That would be that would be an awesome problem to have. All right, good job. Okay, so like I said, remember everything, that's really looking good. That's really looking good. So remember everything, uh, 
everything that you guys bring in, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna send the money down to Reverend Meisner and his family down in Belize, so they can so they can keep sharing God's word with people down there. Okay. All right. Before we get going out of here, we're gonna sing one more song. Okay. Um, but before we do that, I want to say a prayer with you guys. Okay. So I need you to fold your hands. I need you to bow your heads, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for giving us life now and forever through Jesus our Savior. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so before we start our adventures for the evening, like I said, we're going to sing God Delivers. God is faithful. God keeps his promises, and he says yes to us through Jesus our Savior, and we know our God delivers. So stand up with me, and let's sing this song. You guys did a great job. I'm really excited. Remember, uh, we're, we're trying to learn all these songs, and we, we want you guys to come and worship with us on Sunday morning so you guys can stand up here and, and do these songs in front of the congregation, okay? So I want you guys to go out. I want you to have a whole lot of fun tonight, and we'll see you back here in about two hours or so when we have our closing, okay? Have a great time. <laughs>